welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my update for the Painter's Pan. This was created by Liz. She used to be Kooky Pans on Instagram. Now she's Shiny Happy Pans. This project is all about paying homage to other project painters in the community. I love it. I absolutely love it. I say every single time I love this community. It is the best community ever out there. I, I don't think there is one that's even better than this. So I'm going to stick with it's the best. This started like a bazillion years ago, September 1st of 2020. It was a craptastic year and this was probably the best thing that came out of it. And I, I'm going to stick with it for quite some time. I do struggle sometimes trying to figure out what products to bring in for panners. I have a whole list of panners that I want to bring in. My problem is finding products that correlate to those panners because sometimes their collections are completely opposite of mine. So I, ha I struggle finding like the connection between what I own that would match them or I do have a product picked out for them and that product is in complete con conflict with everything else that I'm trying to pan. It's a struggle. The struggle is real. I'm telling you, but I do have two rollouts and I do have two roll-ins. Thank you, Misty, for helping me figure out uh, some of the products to bring in. So I'm going to get into this. There are some products that, like I said, I'm rolling out, which means I've either finished them or I've met goal on them. And there's other products I haven't touched, which seems to be a theme for me this year for all of my projects. Like I hyper focus on some things and I completely back burner other things. Apparently that's just the way I am. I'm rolling this year. So let's do this thing. First up is Andrea. She's pretty as a peacock and her eye looks are pretty as a peacock. They're colorful, they're beautiful, and I love it. And I brought in the Bare Minerals Mineral Shadow in Lime for her. Didn't touch it. Didn't touch it once. And uh, you know that means the one that I brought in for Jen, who is Project Beauty, I didn't touch hers either. This is Forest Eve, which is a Coastal Scents Hot Pot. I'm attempting to finish both of these. I frequently wear them together. And I think because I already have pan, and my focus this year has been to hit pan on things, I think that's why mentally I've backburnered them. It's not that I don't love both of those ladies and it's not that I don't love both of those products. I just like my focus is not there this calendar year, but as soon as I hit my 200 pans, my focus is going to do a 180 and I'm going to start trying to finish things. So they're just, they're hanging out with me. They've been hanging out with me all year. They're going to continue to hang out with me. It's okay. I love both of those beautiful ladies. So it's okay. It's okay if we hang out. Next up is Sharice. She is Brown Eyed Girl Sharice. She has been on. She's left for a little bit. She's been on. She's currently gone again. Uh, she's. I'm sure she's got some stuff going on in her life, which is cool because we're adults and, you know, we do that adulting thing, especially when you have families. So um, this product, I'm, I'm going to keep it in to finish it. This is from the BH Cosmetics Bubs Beauty B palette. I brought this in for her because this is a palette she sent me years ago years ago that I depotted and it is not a conflict with anything else that I've been working on which is why I'm making amazing progress on it it was I want to say it was virtually brand new when I brought it in or lightly used and I am I'm just like tearing it up because this this is a good shade to me this is almost neutral I know it's not really neutral but to me this berry purple kind of shade is almost like a neutral for for my world it is. So I'm just making amazing progress on it. And if I keep working on it the way I have been, I think it might be done by the next update. The next person is rolling out and I'm kind of sad, but if you watched my Oh My Pans 200, you already know who's leaving me. I'm very sad that Deb B is leaving me in this project, not in real life, but in this project. This was from the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. It was Totally Fetch, which I frankened to be purple. It's a purple heart thing. It's a Deb thing. If you watch Deb, you already know all about the whole purple heart thing and it's done. I was able to pair it quite frequently with this shade right here. And again, they weren't a conflict with anything else and it was really kind of easy to use up. The next two ladies are in the same palette. They did not come in together, but that's okay. They're, they're in the same palette, which is the Beige Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles palette. The first one is going to be CC. She is the Diva Next Door. She is one of the co-creators for the 50 Shades series. We started with 50 Shades of Pink, and uh, I brought in a shade of pink for her. <laughs> this is the 90210 right here. I have pan on it. I've expanded the pan. It's a little bit thinner around, but it's not massive progress, 
but I mean it's progress nonetheless but I'm attempting to finish this for her and this one isn't a super big conflict but pink is not one of those shades that I wear all the time so it's just gonna take some time Cece's gonna hang out with me and then Linda loves life I have this shade I believe it's rush hour down here for her I only use this one since the last time I brought this in because uh, back in the day I don't even remember the palettes and I know some people have told me in the comments before it's just it's not sticking here and I, I can't make it stick in my head but she had some silvers and some blacks that she was panning and they rolled over into the next year into it with a palette that also had silvers and blacks it was kind of it was kind of entertaining but she stuck with it through the whole thing she stuck with it she got them done it was brilliant and I like I'm applauding her dedication to that so I brought in this silvery kind of shade it is kind of like a bluish silver but this is in for her to hit pan you see I have a nice little dip going there I'm not going to hit pan if I only use it once every update but um hopefully hopefully I will be able to get to it soon I feel like I'm starting to like get some momentum going again it was kind of like touch and go there for a while on some things but I feel like I'm I'm getting my second wind, my rhythm, or something like that. I don't even know how to explain it, but you know if you're in that panning groove, you know what I'm talking about, and I feel like I'm hitting my stride again there. Next up is Haley, and I am sad that she is also kind of in absentia again. Um, I don't know where she is. She is not someone that I talk to in my, like, real life, just on, like, social media. So I don't know if she's coming back. I hope everything's okay with her, but... I'm keeping her in until her product is done. This is the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Sun Kissed Face Primer. She had panned one of these to completion, so I brought this in for her. And I had some usage on this when I brought it in, but it was still pretty daggone full. You can see all of my progress lines there. And I am making really, really good progress on this. You can see it is like starting to sink in here. I want to say if I keep the same progress that I've been using with this, I probably will have this as an empty for the next update. On to Dora. If you don't know who she is, you need to watch her. You need to watch her just because, like, her voice. <laughs> I cannot explain this enough. Her voice is so soothing. It's just like, I don't know, it it's so zen. I love it. I love watching her. She's she's like enthusiastic, but in a very zen kind of way. And I, I just enjoy her to no end. I love her accent. She is German. My mother-in-law is German. And there's something about that German accent that it just, it really appeals to me. And then with her soothing voice, I could just watch her all day long. So she is doing a project that is similar to what I am working on, which is the No Buy Project Pan. She started it based on something that Jessica Payne was doing. Jessica Payne is doing like the 100, like 100 pan, Project Pan or so. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but then she's not allowed to buy anything. I guess it's from these categories until she finishes 100 pans. I'm not 100% sure on all the rules for that one. But anyway, Dora was inspired by Jessica Payne to do this No Buy Project Pan. And then Kana and I started doing it again, I want to say like in August. And I brought in a product that is in one of my No Buy categories. And I want to pan it to completion kind of a la No Buy Project Pan style because... I can't do just usage because then it's still in my collection. It kind of defeats the whole purpose of like using stuff up and getting it out for the no buy. I hope that makes sense. So anyway, I brought in the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick. This is in the shade Wink Pink. And you can see my progress lines here. I started there, down to here, and then I'm at the purple now. So I made actually pretty good progress, which I'm happy about. I am not a lipstick girl. But this is really easy to use so you can see I've used it over other colors that's why it looks a little darker on the top but I'm using it and that is what is important and I'm going to continue to make progress this is one where I will use it all the way down into the plastic and then I will probably scoop it out and use the remaining either in like um like a lipstick tube or something that is a little more narrow and I will use all of the product that's in here. And that's something else that Dora does too. She does scrape out all of her product and she makes sure that she uses every last bit. So, you know, that's something I would do anyway, but I feel like that is important because this is 
in honor and homage to her. Next up is Sophie Alexandra. She created the Project Level Up, which I cannot fit into my schedule. I'm kind of sad because I would like to do it, but I have so many other eyeshadow heavy projects. So I thought when I bring her in here, I am going to pick a palette and do it project level up style, just level one, because again, I got a lot going on. So I brought in this palette from ColourPop. It is the Ballad Palette. And the idea for level one is you use every single eyeshadow in your palette one time, and you have to hit pan on one eyeshadow. And if you do level two, every shadow needs to be used twice and you have to hit pan on two eyeshadows. So I was just doing level one and it is only a five pan. So it was a lot easier to do, but I have done it. I've used every single one of these shades at least once, some of them multiple times, but I decided my focus was going to be this shade right here, which I hit pan on and I am very happy for that. Kind of sad that she's rolling out so soon. I did not actually expect to hit pan on this so quickly, but it is such an easy shade to use and it happened. So I am rolling her out. I will be rolling someone else in in a few minutes. The last panner that is continuing on, this is Kezia. I hope again, I'm pronouncing her name properly. I think I remember her saying that I am pronouncing it properly for English, but she says it a little bit differently in her native tongue. So. I do the best I can. I wish I could hear it and um, be able to try to repeat it. I'm kind of like that way where um, I'm an auditory and visual person. So like, I look at it and I try to say it phonetically, but then I know, I know it's not quite right because um, the accent thing. So Kezia is doing a pan in every palette and she's so close to hitting a pan in every single one of the palettes that she's owned. So I decided to pick a palette that did not have any pan in it at all. And I wanted to hit pan in this one. And I am making progress, but I am not there yet. This is the ColourPop California Love Palette. It's a little, it's a little dirty. I've been using it a lot lately. And I'm really hyper-focused on this shade right here. Don't ask me what the name is because I, I haven't even looked. Oh, it's gnarly. Gnarly. I feel like it's the 80s. So that is the shade that I'm focusing on. Hopefully you can see there is a dip going there. This one pulls really warm on me, so I do use it in conjunction with an a too light matte cream. It is this one's a little dark and a little warm for me to set my brow bone area. So when I kind of like dip into one and then dip into the other, they work really good together. So I'm going to continue to work on this one, and I don't know if I can hit it by the next update, but. If I have not hit pan on this one by the next update, it's going to be really close. So two updates max on this one. So I have two panners rolling out, eight panners continuing on. I need to bring in two new panners. I am very, very happy to be bringing in both of these beautiful ladies. The first one is, and hopefully I do not mangle this name. I'm horrible with names. Laura Takanaga. Hopefully I said her last name correctly. She was the creator of the I Heart the 90s Project Pan for the Fantastic Ladies. I I did not do the original project, mostly because I couldn't relate to most of the prompts because I was like older. So a lot of these things didn't apply to my age range. So that is why I did not do it the first time around. And I really struggled going through the prompts again to try to pick one that would, um, that I could relate to in my brain. Like I could easily do one of the prompts what it asked for but what the prompt actually was didn't like didn't register in my brain I hope that makes sense like something I think was like the pogs I have no idea what those are there was a bunch of things like that I'm like I've never even heard of these so it kind of felt weird for me and unrelatable because I didn't know what they were does that make sense anyway there was one that I definitely was able to relate to and that was Jurassic Park I can't believe that was from the 90s it's I don't know why in my head I thought that was in like the late 80s, but I guess it was in the 90s. And that is something I can definitely relate to because my old son is a die hard dinosaur fan. So the whole point being, <laughs> just because being very long winded today, um, the prompt asks for your oldest product. I went into my spreadsheet to try to figure out which category wouldn't be a huge conflict, which I have a big problem with that. And then I had to pick the oldest one out of that category. So I went with highlighters, believe it or not, powdered highlighters. And I am not currently painting one. No, I'm painting one. So 
one isn't that bad so this one is completely different color wise and it's going to work for me i hope this is the elf baked highlighter in moonlight pearls it is probably my favorite highlighter it is so stinking pretty and it goes very well with my skin tone hopefully it will show up there i love this highlighter and i would have panned it to completion already except it's baked and this crater that's in there probably took me three years which is crazy pants but you all know how baked products are so I'm bringing this in for 20 uses. I will get some good loving on it and um, it won't take me forever, hopefully. And then Jessica Payne, because like I said, she was the inspiration for Dora and then myself and Kana to do the No Buy Project Pan. So I am going to bring in a product for her that is on one of my No Buy categories and that is blush. This might look a little bit familiar. It was in a project earlier this year, rolled out and this is i put it on my plan to pan list and i'm just going to start doing it because this is something i want to have in mm. to finish so this is the tarte amazonian clay 12 hour something 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 blush in party don't ask me all the words they're, they're on the back they're tiny i can't see them and i just i want to finish this whole thing it is going to be in here for the long haul so jessica's going to be hanging out for a while and i'm okay with that because I like the shade, I feel like it's easy to use, and I can actually use this in conjunction with other blushes, because sometimes I get a little aggressive with my blush, but I am not like a bold blush girl, so then I can use this to help tone it down. So I, I feel like I can use this whether I'm doing a warm look or a cool look, I can definitely work on this blush. So I do have quite a few blushes in projects. Most of them are just to hit pan, so this is one that I'm not going to put it on the back burner, but it's not going to be something that gets use every single day. So hopefully I can get that finished in a reasonable amount of time. It's probably going to take me about a year, but I'm okay with that because next year I'm going to be trying to finish some stuff again. So that is everything for this update. I'm going to have all of the beautiful ladies that I mentioned listed down below and, um, hopefully I will have some good progress for you next update. I do like to have, rollouts every single time or at the very least have like really significant progress so i do think there is a strong possibility that i'm going to have this primer done for Haley, and a very good possibility that i'm going to have the eyeshadow for sharice done as well so everything else is kind of a crap shoot you just never know if i'm going to hit pan on those two eyeshadows the one for linda and the one for kezia but i'm okay with that if I even just have one roll out, I'm gonna be a very happy girl. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. It is getting late and I've been filming forever because I've been stumbling over my words, which hopefully I will edit out before you see this, but you know how that goes. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.